Hello again, it's Bob here from Insidium, it's Top Tip Tuesday time and on today's video we're going to be breaking down one of the shots that was featured in our Black Friday advert and this one uses mesh tools and some nice layering of mesh tools insets to get this really cool kind of geometric but organically developing bit of geo. So let's start the clock and we'll jump in. In our scene then we have this primitive plane, it's 800 by 950 and we've got a couple of deformers to give it a bit of shape. There's a wrap deformer which is giving it a bit of a spherical bend and we've got a displacer. This is using a noise, an animated noise, just to give this little bit of animation to our plane. So you can dig into the scene file to have a look at how that is set up. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some mesh tools. We've got them docked here. And actually, we only, only use one object, but several of them to get our effect. So with our plane selected, I'm going to hold Alt, click on N, uh, Inset. And this is the tool we're going to use. If I just dolly in a bit, if I go to my Inset, amount and increase this you'll see that we'll get an inset polygon for every polygon on the plane and what we get is we get this inner face polygon and these four outer face polygons so what we're going to do for this first one is just ramp it way up to 100 percent so it's effectively triangulated the mesh hasn't it and then we're going to offset this, which will just look like it's an extrusion. It just pokes it up like that. So something along those lines. And now we're going to add another one. So let's hold Alt. This is the beauty with the mesh tools. You can just layer them up as much as you like. And in the new one, we're going to put our amount. We're actually going to animate our amount on this one. So let's go back to the first frame. And the first amount we'll put on maybe 40% keyframe. Let's go to the last frame, 90, and maybe put that amount up to 60. So we just get a bit of subtle animation. If we just hit play, it's just animating in a little bit. And we also want to offer a bit of offset as well, because we're going to be, um, we, we need these edges to kind of get our glints. So that's looking pretty cool. So now we're going to layer up some more. This one isn't going to be animated. So let's, with our inset selected, hold Alt, click Inset. And maybe put this amount up to 45 with an offset of just one this time. So they don't stick out too much. That's cool. And then hit play. So now we've got something like this. Very cool indeed. And what are we on? Let's do one more now. We're going to click inset. This one, we're going to do another animation, but make it quite a wide animation. So we're going to put our opening amount on the first frame on, say, 20%. Hit a keyframe. And the next one, we're going to put it way up, maybe to 80, so we get a lot of movement. And again, let's put the offset on one. But this one... Uh, we want to restrict it to kind of the center part of our scene, and we can do that with fields. So with our top one, let's go to the Fields tab, add a spherical field. Here it is. And look, you can see that that one is only being affected within the confines of our field. And of course, we can animate the field for a bit of interesting movement as well. So let's do that. We'll go back to the first frame, and we'll click a keyframe on the size of our field at 100. And then the last one... We'll just increase that size. So this is kind of like spreading out as it's developing. And then hit play. Yeah, so the field spreads out and it kind of in, uh, encroaches more and we get more insets growing. That's looking very cool. Let's do some more now. Um, we're going to hold Alt, hit Inset. This one's not going to be animated, but we do want to use the field. So let's drag that same field in to our new one. In the object tab, we'll just put this on, say, 45 and an offset of one. Just keep that static. And then let's do another one. So it'll nest that one in a new one. This new one, we could put it on similar settings. Let's say 46 with an offset of one. But we want to confine it to within the field. So let's go to the field tab, drag in the same field. You can see we're just layering up this same effect over and over again. Uh, let's just do one more. Hold Alt, Inset. We want to use the field, we can use the same field. In the object tab, let's put this on, say, 48 with an offset of one. So now we've got this incredibly dense 
uh, animation here. Look at this, but this this spreads over time. So let's have a look at how this is going to look because the beauty of this is we have all of these different kind of animating edges which will cast shadows and glint highlights. And as they grow and spread, we get this really interesting, what looks like an almost organic growth in a, an, in a rigidly geometric animation. So it's pretty cool. Let's go to our render elements folder here and we'll just look through this camera that we've set up and we will activate our redshift sun and even in just in the viewport you can see we get this nice effect with the shadowing. Let's just go to our redshift render view though and just uh, let's just dock that over here. Hit render. And we're going to get an idea of, yeah, so look, with the shadows, it looks really, really cool, doesn't it? And if we just go to our material manager, we've got this basic redshift material. This will just add a few highlights and a few uh, reflections to that. And we're getting this very nice look. And as our sun animates, if we just animate that around a bit, you can see we get this really cool kind of shadowing of our effect. And it animates out as our field and our insets animate.